Today I'm gonna customize these three helmets for complete strangers. Now, all I have to do is figure out what I'm gonna paint, how I'm gonna do it, and let you know what you could do to become one of these three strangers. Who wants a custom helmet? All right, first things first. I thought I could get away without sanding these helmets, but I decided to just do it because it'll just help the paint stick a little better. Let me in. So the plan is to use three colors on all of these helmets, but I'm gonna do them in three different ways because I'm indecisive and I like to make things more difficult than they need to be. What am I gonna do to these? Instafam, I need to custom paint these three helmets. I'm not entirely sure what I should do. I'm hoping you can help. Give me some guidance. Tell me what to do. Please be my creative laxative. Is that too much? So I asked the Instafam community which direction I should go on some of these, and I got some pretty good ideas. Commotion camo, love that. Persian rug influence, dig it. It really helped inform the direction that I'm gonna go. So, thanks for that. I just realized I need to have all my resources together so I know what I'm working with. At this point, I can feel resistance to start this project. I can tell I'm scared that I'm gonna mess it up or make something crappy. So usually, for me, the best course of action is to just start. So I'm just gonna start with one, with one of these sketches that I think looks interesting enough, and we'll take it from there. And it'll change as it goes, and that's gonna be just fine. But I gotta get over this hurdle of procrastination, otherwise I'll never do it. Ready. Microbial silver padding silver silver if you suffer from stinky helmet this might be the helmet you're looking for it uses silver for odor control who knew that was a thing this would have been easier if I'd picked one pattern for all the helmets but so far, this one's my favorite. Look how cool this looks. With the two shades of brown, this thing's gonna look, this is gonna look good. Here's a little insight as to what was going through my head at that moment. That pattern I call the DCO, Disruptive Commotion Overlay. I did it on some production Villiers. They actually did it in two colors. And I even painted these S-Works shoes with the same pattern. And I felt a little like, I don't wanna to do too much of the same thing, which is funny because I know it's gonna look good. I ended up actually doing it, but there was always this part of me, and still is, that feels like it's just repeating the same thing, it's not gonna be as good, you have to always progress. So it's just interesting to find that tension between what works and what pushes it to the next level. Sure, it's uncomfortable, but I still feel like it's good to tell them because we've all got so much insecurity, but no one ever really talks about it. At this point, the first helmet I started is the hardest one to deal with. I think it's still salvageable. I don't really know what I should do next. I'm treading that line between having a plan, creative freedom, and flying by the seat of your pants. Which is always exciting, but rarely turns out well. Man who loves his people, his people. 
Wait, what the hell? How did I lose the brush? You ever been on a ride and had some knucklehead in a car almost take you out? You ever wonder what you would actually do if you got injured or worse? Like, who do you call? What do you do? Lo and behold, our plea for cycling advocacy have been answered by a passionate, dedicated group of cyclists known simply as Bicycle, Bicycle Law. Law. They provide legal resources to individual cyclists and cycling clubs, even if they don't stand to make much money, because they value helping cyclists, which they see as helping the community and helping the planet. They're thinking big picture. So the lawyers figured it out. I would have thought the beekeepers. So the move is to put their number in your phone, 866-VELO-LAW. And you can just screen grab this and hopefully you'll never have to use it. But if you do, there's no risk. They're not gonna charge you to see if they can help out or not. No funny business. I'll also put their link below. And shout out Bicycle Law for looking out for us. They're like our litigious guardian angels. Can we legally say that? Look at this. Do I add another color to this like I planned and potentially ruin it or leave it as is? Hmm. Huh. That's the way it is, brother. Okay, I think I'm finished. I can't believe it's dark and I wore the same clothes all week. That took so long. Two days of little brush strokes for these helmets that I'm going to give to complete strangers, which I'll tell you about in just a moment. But first, maybe we should look at what I just did. All right. Rosetta, she takes your breath Rosetta. away. Rosetta. 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 Now she can really hypnotize. Rosetta. When you look into Rosetta. her eyes. Okay, so if you are interested in any of these three helmets, I want to give them away to you for complete completely free for com complete for complete and the way that we're going to do this is you wait, how do we do this all you got to do is go to sea otter find me at the bell booth get a ticket and you're automatically entered in a raffle to win one of these for com completely f for free complete i sit with the f i'm honestly a little bummed though that i have to give all these away pretty straightforward find yourself in sea otter look at all the bikes in the world and get yourself a free custom Decline painted helmet. Sounds great. It's cool to give these away to people that actually want them. So it all comes out in the wash. What do you think? Did you, do you like these? Do you hate these? Let me know. I've got thin skin, so. Now to get a full understanding of what sea otter is all about or what happens after sea otter, you'll have to watch this video where I do an amazing gravel adventure. It was a little dangerous if I'm totally honest with some of my close friends in Northern California. And I think we might try to do the same this year. Head over there and let me know if we should do a rinse and repeat. By rinse and repeat, I mean a whole different route in a different part of the state. 